whole story of these cars being just like awful handling cars. Oh dear, I've just run over a pigeon. Shit. Where was I before I ran over the pigeon? Um, I'm gonna have to come back to this. I've completely lost my train of thought after killing something. Roll bar on them, and 
just as importantly, a decent set of tyres. If you want one of these cars and you've got a set of budgets on it, you're going to have problems. And you're going to have that problem with any car with a crap set of tyres. But stick a rear anti-roll bar on one of these and you are absolutely laughing. swap the camera around and uh, give you a bit of a driver's perse uh, oops, sorry, perspective and um, I'm going to demonstrate this horrific and uh, completely unbearable torque steer that the internet seems to go on about so um, I'll catch you in a minute. Uh, second gear pull, see this horrific torque steer that everyone goes on about. So I'm coming up to a little quiet stretch of road now where I'm going to try the best I can to demonstrate the apparent horrific torque steer that you get with these cars. Right. So I'm going to slow down, give it a bit of a second gear pull. I'm not going to grab the wheel too heavily just me fingers like that and I'll floor it now as you can see with that it's slightly dramatic a lot of noise but I wasn't wrestling the car now versus a standard car which a lot of these people reviewed and said had this horrific torque steer this should be all over the place in theory but it's not and I don't have a limited slip differential in this anyway it's, it, 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 it's a standard diff so there you have it it isn't even all that bad and I'll even demonstrate from a standstill in first let's slow right down here come to a standstill in the first Again, not going to hold it very tightly at all. Now there's a slight bit of movement there, just because of the road surface. But I hope you understand by seeing this, that all those things that people said all those years ago, was quite frankly, a load of bollocks. Symptoms which are 
me, for my personal circumstances, it isn't the end of the world. I can understand if someone didn't have a great deal of money, then it's obviously going to cause them a lot of issues. But I don't think if you got you can afford one of these and you can afford to run it, then you should be able to afford to repair it. Now it's not the end of the world. If you leave it and leave it and leave it and you need a whole new gearbox, that's a different story. This one I had refurbed by the Mutual Motor Works and it's sorted out and it's never had a problem since. It's got decent gearbox oil in it, which they recommend to sort of change if every sort of 6,000 miles or if you do track days, change it after a track day just to prolong the life of the box. It's 25, 30 quid for some more gearbox oil, so it's a job worth doing. But, as I said, do not let 